Hello YouTube, this is Dow from Dad to Be Creative and I am here today um, with another flip tag book. So I showed you this one and this one is the rest of the remaining paper that I use from the Authentic Rugged line. And so I showed you this mini album that I had made and that I got um, the tutorial from Alexander M. Only thing I changed on this one was she had a circle one and I made a square one. So I wanted to kill the paper pad and <clears throat> Just like I did with that one, um, I use the paper up to make a flip book, so I decided to do the same thing. So I feel good because this is the second pad of paper I completely killed with nothing left over, just some little teeny bit of scratches, which I may use these pieces of paper here to make some twinchies, which are two by twos, um, like the inchies, which are one by ones, um, which are the same like ATCs, except ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. So they're just miniature works of art, the same thing. So I'm thinking about cutting these little pieces up and see if I can make anything masculine out of it. So I'll let you know if I do. I can't find the one that goes with this paper pad because that's the one I really wanted to use. But anyway, um, so I'm going to really kill the paper pad and use that because most people don't know you can use those. And same thing on your um, paper pad covers. When you have a 12 by 12 paper pad cover, you can cut those pieces out and use those as ephemera um, as well. So anyway... I made a flip tag book and I just used the paper pads and used a couple punches and I kept it simple. Thought about doing some mixed media on it, but then I said, no, I want to get it done quickly. It's a spring break. Um, <clears throat> and just kept it kind of masculine and um, very simple. But anyway, um, I like it and um, it's kind of challenging because you can't do as much feminine frilly stuff. But um, but anyway, this is, this is what I made. Let me see. I should. Well, I'll do pictures at the end. So anyway... Um, that was from ephemera. That's a um, ephemera that came from the paper pad. That's a punch. That's from the paper pad. And then I just put some bling on it. Pop that up. That's from the paper pad as well. And I did both sides to make sure that I could use all of it up. Um, that is from a punch. Some other paper. That's a punch. And then these wood and bellies are just um, some wood veneers I got from TM this morning. And again, everything on this page is from the... All the stickers are from the um, paper pad collection. I just added a wood veneer and those two little stickers right there. They look like breads, three of them, excuse me. And that's popped up and that's popped up as well. It's different making a masculine attack book versus a feminine one. Um, and that says my man. This is a banner punch and I put the word handsome on top of it and punch XO out and that wood veneer on it. And that, that United States came from Hobby Lobby doing that clearance um, that it just had. I got that punch. This is a banner die from uh, CC. Um, what's the name of it? Not Craft Experience. Oh, my gosh. I just forgot. CC Design, sorry. And with veneer, um, just added that little bling up there. And that's an arrow punch from Momentum, which I also got from um, clearance at Hobby Lobby. And that's a bow tie punch, and that's a crown punch. Put some little bling on the crown. That's a hello punch and a little bit of bling right there. So that's the only bling. And this I use in the background, if you can see it. But this piece of paper right here, I rolled it through my paper roller to make it look crinkled, like corrugated paper. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting. Because I thought the texture would kind of give a little masculine touch there. And which way am I going? Okay, this way. And this, that mister came from one of the punches that we just got from clearance from Hobby Lobby. That's paper femur, paper femur. Um, it popped those up. Put that little sticker there that looks like faux breads. Love. And that's popped up one of a kind. And that's a punch as well. And then this one, some banner punches that I just got from clearance from Hobby Lobby. Put a little sticker there. Manly and Brave, they all popped up. That's another one, the ampersand that I got from Hobby Lobby on their clearance. My guy and some more stickers. So it was really nice using some of the, the punches that I just got from Hobby Lobby as well. So that was great. Um, another one of those hashtag signs from Hobby Lobby and a bow tie. And um, actually the bow tie one I got, that one from Joanne a while back. And this is just some layered pieces. And that's part of the paper film run. I just stacked them up. And then this right here, this... Um, divider what do you call it like the planner one that's a Teresa Collins punch as well with veneer a man in his cars that's popped up and it's put a little red sticker there and it says first edition oh that's from the paper line 
game on for some more stickers. Um, the tags came from a, um, which brand is that? Oh, that's a um, Marvy stamp, a punch with the three different tags in one. And I put the arrow right there from the momentum that came from Hobby Lobby. And that's a little sticker that came from the paper pad. And I just stapled some people's pieces in the back of some strips of paper just to give it a little bit of texture as well. Did that go the wrong way? Oh, yeah, this way. And on the back, um, this says a man in his sports. And again, all these paper pieces just came from the ephemera. And they just popped those up and put a little bling right there. And again, that banner and some bling. And then that popped up and I cut the centerpiece out of here. And again, that paper in the back out is I wrote it through to make it look corrugated. Um, that says my dad and that's popped up and that's a love um, hand punch. On the back of that one, another banner says swag. I did put a little bit of um, gold metal trim, uh, metal thread under there because this is about a barber shop, <laughs> and it says "Come on in, we're open." So kind of maybe think of hair. And a little arrow punch down there, some bling, and then the last one, Boa says, "You are my happy place," and just some arrow and some wood veneers. And on the back of that one, it says um, "A man and his tools, the daily grind," and just some more punch outs. And um, so strips and just staple them for some texture and just put some bling there. So that's just a simple, quick way to use up your paper pad. And again, you're not limited to do it the way I made it. You can make it however you want. Um, I was trying to use some of my punches up because, you know, I brought them and I wanted to use them and to try them out. And that was cool to do that and um, to really get rid of my paper and um, to make something that was masculine. And um, I don't know if my sons would do anything with anything like this, but anyway, I may give it to one of them. I'm not sure. Um, they know I always make it stuff and send them crazy stuff. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so that's a way to kill your paper pads. I feel good because I can kill two complete paper pads this year. So, um, hooray. Because a lot of times we have scraps left over, you know, half of a paper pad. Actually, I'm sorry, three paper pads. So, because um, I did with those other goodie bags. So, anyway, um, I'm feeling good really using um, my paper so the whole thing, you know, I don't have to sit around as much as possible. I won't be able to do that with every paper pad, I'm sure, but um, when inspiration hit me, I'm going to try to at least do something like this, goodie bags or tags to try to kill off the rest of the paper pad. And um, I'm going to try to put some pictures at the end. And like I said, I think I'm going to come back and try to see if I can make something out of these. All right. But anyway, thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Guess what? I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.